Hey everyone, how you doing? Uh, my name's Dean Manic, and I have a page on Facebook called Manic Gaming, which I only started recently. I'm more of a, a DJ than I have than I've ever done live stream gaming, but I thought I'd do it because I love playing video games. I'm a big kid. Anyway, this is my very first ever reaction video, whatever you want to call it, um, about this game up here. Now that what he's playing in that corner is some live footage that I recorded from. Uh, an online stream that I did alongside Basil Bean Gaming of the brand new game Black Ops Cold War. So, I feel like I've been ripped off. 60 odd quid I'm never going to get back. I've just finished the campaign. Six hours. Six hours completed. The storyline, eh, it's good until you get about three quarters of the way into the game and then you're just like, what? Um, let's, let's pick it. I'm going to pick it apart. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to pick it apart. Okay. Let's start with the single player campaign. There are three separate downloads that you have to install before you can play it. Don't bother. Don't. Seriously, don't. Graphically, it is amazing. It really is. Audio, really good. Crisp sounds. My only gripe with the audio is they've blatantly ripped off the little suspense part from Aliens. You're, you're, when you play it, if you play it, you'll know what I mean. If you've ever watched the movie Alien or Aliens, you'll know exactly what I mean. <clears throat> but let's really pick it apart. It's a cool idea you're allowed to put your own name in um, as the operative, even though it's never used in the game. But, you know, it's kind of a cool little thing. You know, you can... There's a little bit of a an RPG element to it. You start the game off. Um, it's kind of reminded me a bit of Assassin's Creed, in a way, which I thought was kind of odd. And again, if you play it, you'll see what I mean. I'm not going to give away any spoilers. But this is where it starts to go downhill. Initially, the AI in the game are really good. You know, it's difficult. Even on an easy setting, it's kind of a bit difficult. And the uh, NPCs that you're with on the missions are equally good. The AI is good. But that's only for the first couple of missions. After that, I mean, I was playing on missions where my teammate would request that you know we go up and you take that one i'll take this one you know the silent kill so you shoot your one like she says i'll do it on your mark so you shoot your one massive delay every time that happened i ended up having to take out both targets to which you get some sort of a quip oh leave some for me there are other times the npc character that you're with on a mission is taking cover behind a wall or an object with an enemy AI literally two feet away from him. And it's like watching two stormtroopers from Star Wars shoot each other. They just keep missing. You do most of the work in that game. There is no real assistance from the NPCs, even when there's multiple NPCs that are on your team. It, they don't do anything. It's, it's hilarious. And in one mission alone, I mean, I wish I'd actually recorded it because if I'd put it up, it, it, it usually like would go, what? There was one mission. I'm not going to give any spoilers away, but you're inside a complex. And I'd taken out what I thought was all of the enemy. But then I noticed that I kept getting this little red thing flash up on my... Because when you see a target, you get the, 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 the target goes red. And there was an enemy AI literally walking around me and didn't shoot me, wasn't doing anything. I actually was able just to walk up behind him and do a silent kill takedown on him. What was that all about? I mean, that's how bad the AI is in the game. It's ridiculous. Out of all the missions, there was only one where you really had to kind of use stealth, and even that wasn't difficult. 
it's almost like they've just they've concentrated on the graphics because I'm not going to lie, the graphics are amazing. I was playing on the PS4 Pro on a 4K TV with 4K HDMI, so I was really putting it to its best. Graphics are unbelievable. But then you've got to expect that because this game was made for the crossover between consoles, PS4, PS5, the Xbox, and the new, the brand new Xbox. I can't even know what it's called because I don't like the Xbox. Anyway. So that's the multi... That's, sorry, that's the, the single player. So that's my gripes about the single player. The storyline, again, it, it starts off and you kind of get into it, but then it loses its way and it becomes just really weird, kind of like what the hell is going on. There's actually one mission that I don't even see the point of it being in the game. There's just... I mean, they could have done something a lot different if they're going to reference back to other Black Ops games. And again, I'm not going to give away any spoilers. Um, the ending... I'm not going to give away any spoilers. But, you know, at six hours of gameplay, I expected a lot more from the single player. Because the multiplayer, quite frankly, is just as bad. You get six, I think, or seven operators on each faction. And you can only use two on each side, male or female. Um, and that's it. They're, they're generic. They're bland. When you're up on the load screen, like you can see up there in that top corner, that that corner, sorry, keep forgetting it's in reverse, doesn't show your weapon. Like you play, if you play Modern Warfare, when you're in that lobby, when you're in that multiplayer lobby, your character is there with your weapon loadout, with your camos on it, everything. Uh, on Black Ops, nah, doesn't happen. The maps are tiny. There's, there's, I mean, I really was hoping for more because I remember when I played the Alpha, I I didn't like it. I played the Beta. And and that was just cemented. I didn't like it. And I I said I wasn't going to buy it. But I kind of was sold when I started watching some more of the release. Uh, like, you know, the pre-release, the previews of, of the game itself. And I watched a couple of YouTubers. And I thought, all right, I'll give it a go. Because, you know, I've not liked a Black Ops game since World at War. Well, that wasn't even a Black Ops game. I mean, a Treyarch game. I don't know what they were trying to achieve. I don't know what they were trying to do. The multiplayer is horrendous. The maps are tiny, especially if you're like me. I like playing hardcore. My favorite game mode is Team Deathmatch and Domination. So that's what I selected. That's my go-to game modes. But the maps are, are, are crap. A lot of them are symmetrical. So it's like, you, you're like, oh, come on, put some, give it some, you know, longevity. I mean, at least on Modern Warfare, the maps they've released... Yeah, all right, they've rehashed a few, but the maps are pretty decent for the most part. Even the smaller ones, you know? I mean, come on, Treyarch, what were you doing? Again, like me, if you like playing hardcore, Treyarch, gone back to the whole, you, you, if you team kill, you get kicked. Which is great if you're like, you know, got a, a, a serial team killer on your side but what if you're in a, with a load of friends if you're in a clan and you go into a game as a clan and then one of your teammates throws that frag that accidentally kills two of your teammates he's then kicked from the game what is the point do the same as what um infinity will do you kill your team kill twice then you end up killing yourself doesn't matter it's, people stop doing it i don't know why treyarch have done that it kind of spoils it so, yeah, multiplayer was a complete washout for me as well. I really didn't enjoy it. Even when I started ranking up the M4 and was picking off, getting more kills, I just didn't enjoy it. And there's my neighbour being annoying, drilling, anyway. <laughs> At least you're not recording this. Well, I was, yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. But, you know, all right, and then we're going to go on to zombies. All right, brilliant. I thought I loved the zombies in the original one. They did say they had taken zombies back, got back to its roots. And, uh... They have, but it's covered in graffiti. And it was crap. Ah, man. Been ripped off with this one. I, I don't... I mean, a friend of mine bought the Ultimate Pack, so, like, he's got everything. He's got, like, the when they bring out the season passes, that's all included. The season pass isn't coming out till December. I mean, what, what's that all about? These people paid, like, paid, like, 90 quid. I'm telling you now. I'm going to see what I can claw back from CEX on this game. I don't even want to give it a second chance. I mean, last night, I, I went offline early. We was live streaming, myself and Basil being gaming. And we were, he said, let's, well, I said, let's just do Warzone. But then I was just so deflated. I was like, wow, 
of waiting for this game to come. All I can get from it as a plus is the graphics. That's it. The graphics. Do yourself a favour. Only buy this game if you're an absolute Black Ops fanboy. If you're not, don't. Don't touch it. Stick to Modern Warfare if you like your Call of Duty. Stick to that because that is actually a very good game. They are doing their best to, to, to breathe life into that franchise and they've done it. They said they was going back to the, what they wanted, to, what the original Modern Warfare was, and in my opinion, they did it. They nailed it. Infinity Ward actually made a very good game. Because I went to Battlefield after, I think it was the, when they started doing, let's put exoskeletons on soldiers that can run around walls. I went to play Battlefield. I was like, nah, nah, not for me. Anyway, that's my rant over. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, like I said, I know I'm, I'm really tearing it apart, but that's my opinion of it. Yours may differ. Let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway, big love, everyone. I'm Manic Gaming. Check me out right above there on Facebook. Also, give Basil Bean Gaming a, a like and a follow on Facebook. We team up virtually almost every night in the week and have giggles and have a laugh on Warzone. So please give my page a like and a follow too. I'll be whacking this up on YouTube. On there, I'm DManic73. Enjoy what's left of your weekend. And if you have got this game, I feel bad for you. Peace out, everyone. Big love.